What is up, beautiful people? It's Wolf Brother Mythos Kushinata from the channel Frost and Fist, and welcome to this video. And your Wolf Brother's coming in at the very last minute, January 31st, with my video response to Big D's The Game Craft Dragons Deodorant Stick Land Speeder Conversion Challenge. So this is a kit build, a scratch build, whatever you want to call it. It's turning a stick of deodorant into um, a land speeder or similar uh, vehicle. And actually, uh, let me give you a little story about that. I want to include, you know, that it's a, a similar vehicle potential because I had a long time. Guys, the whole first six weeks, this is an eight-week challenge. The whole first six weeks, I had zero inspiration on what to do to turn this stick of deodorant into some kind of 40k vehicle but then a couple weeks ago I saw Big D put out his video for his final entry and what happened is that he did something and it blew my mind and started all of my creative processes of turning wheels in my brain so he decided that he is going to use his not for his uh, any of his space marines he's going to use it for his imperial guard so his land speeder is going to be a tank commander and I'm like once I realized that I don't just need to limit this to the build, the weaponry, whatever, of a land speeder, all of a sudden my brain kicked into overdrive and that's what really got me inspired. So I don't know if I could have even finished this challenge without watching Big D's video and getting inspired. In fact, go check out his video there. So really, really, really pleased with the way this came out, especially since I stressed for six long weeks on what to do. So what I want to do is kind of walk you through um, my building process once I got inspired. All right, guys, here it is. I'm going to start right here with this one. So first of all, you can see this bright yellow. This is a stick of Arm & Hammer um, deodorant here. And I knew the first thing I wanted to do I went through all my bits box and I didn't see anything. The nose of the ship bothered me, right? That to me is what stood out the most as this being deodorant. I did the usual stuff, right? I glued, I, I stripped down all the stickers. I scrubbed it down with 100% alcohol. Um, and I did a lot of sanding, you know, so that way it would be more likely to pick up the primer and everything. So I did a lot of sanding. Then I went to my local dollar store. In fact, I think this was a family dollar. And I went looking through their toy section because I wanted something that might change the shape of my ship here. And boom, I found a $1 toy tank in the toy aisle. And uh, I mean, where else are you going to find the toy tank, right? And uh, <laughs> I decided I wanted to chop off the front nose piece to their tank there. And um, even use the little turret to help me change the shape of my land speeder. And that kind of became the basis for everything else I did. Once I got back to the house, I went through my bits box and I had some leftover wings from a Stormfang gunship and I popped those on. And then I had um, a spare Storm Rider sled from Logan Grimnar because I had a couple of them. And I clipped the little wings off of that sled and turned them into tail fins here. Now it was starting to come together. I don't even know what this hatch is from, but it was somewhere in my bits box. And I used, heck, I used it. I strapped it right on. It fit the uh, perfect shape of the deodorant, you know, the curve of the top there. So that was perfect. Um, then I decided I needed some weaponry. And I would look through my codex and I was like, okay, something that I think that I might want to start mounting weapons on for is a Stormhawk Interceptor. And that's what I kind of used as my inspiration here. So I had a couple of these round Tau cannons here. I don't even know what they're called. I'm not a Tau guy. But they were leftovers from an early commission I did about five years ago. I popped those on and those would become my assault cannons. Um, and I had a couple of, um, of heavy bolter stubs that uh, little, little bitty pieces of heavy bolter that I would mount here later on. I'll show you guys those later. Here you can see it again coming together. I feel like now that we've got the wings on, the fins, the cannon, the front piece here, it's starting to take shape. Now this piece right here, I, there was a little gap there and I decided I wanted that to be my windshield of the ship. 
So I just cut a little rectangular piece of um, clamshell from a Space Marine librarian I bought a while back, and that would become the basis uh, for the windshield. And I want you to pay attention as I go through this work in progress because um, it looks like nothing now, but I think what I do with it uh, to become a, a windshield later on really is something special. I'm pretty pretty stoked about it. But yeah, it's, it's getting a little fighter shape there. Another side view up. Ah, so again, I have no idea what this cap is, but man, it felt like a little nub to help me add some detail, and I thought it could be like a, I don't know, a fuel cap or something like that, you know, whatever it is. Felt like it went with the theme of this being a little fighter jet. Here, and, you know, some people some people laughed, but I thought it would kind of fit. These are two halves of wheels from uh, the Space Marine bikes. And this is uh, a cap to a five-hour energy drink. And again, this is a little hubcap nub I had in my bits box for something. I don't even know what it goes to. Um, but I thought that it added a little detail to the center of that energy drink cap. So that way these could be my thrusters. And I figured with a little airbrushing, you know, to bring out the uh, thruster effect, I figured they would be just fine as acting as the thrusters to this jet. So once I had my build together, I knew I needed a flight stand. And again, I went back to another dollar store. Hitting up this dollar store, I got some cheap champagne glasses for a dollar. And they come in two parts, right? It's a little nub here. And then the actual glass part is a separate piece. You assemble them. But I just needed these parts right here, and I figured it would be a great base for my speeder. But also, you guys know, I actually lost the hover uh, bit for my repulsor. So I figured, hey, get it. I get six glasses here. I can base both my land speeder and my uh, Primaris repulsor with these bits. So neat little score there. Once I started painting it, this is my first work in progress shot. So I prime the whole thing gray sear gray like I do for my white scars and then I came in with a 50-50 mix of uh, basilicanum gray and space wolves gray of the contrast line thinned it down with a little medium and I went all around everywhere there was texture detail shapes to provide shadows and here along the uh, uh, along the lid of the cap you know, around the fins, around the wings, everywhere where there was something to get in the way and cause a little shade. And you know what? I, I don't, I'm not saying I know where every shade would be, but I just wanted to spray it somewhere that would add visual interest, I felt like. After another couple good nights of painting, I had my little base built up there. So that is a CD there at the bottom. And I had the start where I glued that champagne glass on. And then I put some metallics down. So I painted it in black and then did some dry brushing with a soft round dry brush to bring out the metallic effects on the guns too. Some black with some uh, edge highlighting. Did the golds down on the trims of the wings and um, I decided to airbrush some racing stripes on each wing doing a little gold where the knot work is. So I thought that was really starting to bring it together. So this really started to feel like a jet. After that, I decided it was time to get serious about the basing here. So what I did was I grabbed an old, old CD. And you know, anytime I come across CDs that are scratched up, junky, not worth anything anymore, um, you know, instead of throwing them away, I make sure to uh, keep them and, you know, keep them for like, to, you know, uh, a scatter terrain, basing, that kind of stuff. So what I did was I primed, you know, I sanded the crap out of the CD. I primed it up. Uh, with some black primer and then I used some Luke's APS's um, red sand or mar sand uh, from his ready basing line and then I added it I scattered some rocks into it to you know give some, the ground some texture it's not probably not super marsy but you know thought it added some visual interest so here here we go work in progress is just about complete so this I, fin I decided to finish up the base here you can see that I added some bushes to it. I added some skulls from the skull set here. And this is pretty much how I base all my white scars. Now, another cool thing is you'll see that there's some, a lot of, you know, white speckles in my sand. So there's a really cool thing. Um, I feel like the red sand by itself is just too one note, right? Too, um, too singular. 
I found this really cool effect while doing some of my early white scars and I've tried to go back and replicate it ever since then. Um, where using, instead of basing glue, I use super glue to put down the sand. And then when I spray on the matte varnish, there's some kind of reaction that turns some of these um, sand bits white instead of red. And so it gives multiple colors to my sand, which is a really neat effect, and I actually love the way that comes out. So like I said, I, I, I did it by accident the first time and found that the super glue and the matte varnish react differently to each other. But ever since then, I've continued doing that because I love the way it adds multiple you know, colors to my dirt. Anyways, these are uh, Wasteland Tufts by uh, Army Painter, and the, basing line, or the skull line is from, of course, the Citadel box set. Now, I told you guys I added the heavy bolter bits up front, so there they are. And let's take a second to talk about this windshield here. This is one of the things I am most proud on on this uh, speeder conversion, right? And I never thought that I would have the skill set to do this. But honestly, I followed my brother Freak's tutorial. I'm going to put a link up in the corner. And his tutorial was so easy to follow. I was actually able to do this. You guys know, I've always struggled a bit with the airbrush. I am definitely no airbrushing genius, you know, like my brother Freak. Um, and so by following along his tutorial, I was able to do it and I didn't have that much trouble. I used a simple business card and uh, made it work, made some really cool reflection effects here in the windshield. All it needed after that was some gloss varnish, some decals, and some matte varnish to tone it all down. And then I would be done with my land speeder deodorant stick conversion. So all that's left is the showcase pictures, guys. If you have any questions on how I did any of this, please feel free to drop me some comments down below. And I hope you enjoy the showcase because I am hella proud of this.